Hey guys, I'm out doing family stuff today. We took the boys down to the river. We're gonna go over the prehistoric trackways. We're gonna go get some beer at our favorite beer garden, go off to lunch. It's just one of those out and about days. And I wanted to make a video today. I could have racked my brain about what am I gonna make a video about, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I decided I'm gonna do a quick EDC video. Um, it's not necessarily an updated EDC video. It's just kind of, it's war the, the months are warming up. It's, it's getting to where you gotta wear a t-shirt and shorts all the time, sandals and whatnot. So I just wanted to go over like kind of what my EDC is now that the, the um, now that it's starting to get warm here in the southwest so before we before i show you that let's uh, talk about today's sponsors ammunition sponsor today's video is nautilus ammunitions made in florida usa they just dropped their self-defense line nine mil and their subsonic 300 blackout so thank you for them to provide me with the 223 and nine mil that i use for my videos and uh use code bush 10 on your next order um Shout out thanks to them. And then uh, the other sponsor is Brownells. Some of the stuff I have today, I got through them, from them, provided by them. Um, so thank you for them. Thank you to them for providing the gear. Some of the gear in today's video. Use code BOP10 on your next order of ammo, gun parts, or gear. So thank you to those guys. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my pistol. I am um, I, I normally appendix carry I appendix carry or I will put this in my shorts pocket. It's my HK P30 SK. I have the two round extender on the magazine that I carry um, in the pistol. So it's 12 and one, so that's 13. I got a TLR uh, 7A from Streamlight, which is it's been great. The only issue I had was um, with it being cold. Uh, leaving it in the glove box potentially drains the one two three battery but like we've talked about in other videos that happens quite a bit when it comes to cold weather and, and different types of batteries so that's my pistol right so 13 and one and I, I generally carry this appendix in my waistband or in my pocket and so you know I don't nest I don't have a holster for it I don't carry it in a holster you might be like well, you know, generally speaking, most guys have a holster for retention on their pistol. But I personally don't carry carry in a holster because I like to constantly be moving around. Uh, um, appendix inside the waistband, small of a back um, waistband, in my pocket, under my thigh, potentially in Sarah's purse, depending on where we are. Um, so I just like being able to do that. Um, I thought about getting a holster for it. I probably will sometime in the near future um, but I'm never really an inside the waistband kind of holster guy I've always liked either tucking just tucking them or carrying it on an outside the waistband holster that's just my comfort preference right so that's what I care that's the pistol I carry and then in my front left pocket I carry my spare 10 round magazine uh, you know stock or whatever HK 10 round magazine I carry that so I have uh, 12 and 1, so 13, so that's 23 rounds of 9 mil. Then, in the front left pocket, I have my Buck Strider. I've had this in my pocket for over a decade. This is like my main pocket knife that I carry. So I have my Buck Strider. Then I carry, sometimes I carry a Zippo, but since living out here in the Southwest with how um, dry the air is and how quickly things dry out, I've stopped carrying it because freaking the lighter fluid just evaporates out of it like nothing especially in the hotter months so i just carry a normal bic just i have it on me used to smoke don't smoke so i just i force a habit carrying a lighter it's good then i've been carrying this this is one of the tmt's the tactical mechanical tourniquet this comes in the u.s army um this comes in the u.s army ifax they are smaller than the cat 7 same prints same principle i just carry it you know i, I used to carry a, a, a cat 7 quite a bit but i carry this now because it fits in my back it's smaller and it fits in my back pocket more compactly um and it, it's basically it's the same thing as a cat tourniquet it's just 
different manufacturer and Sarah had a bunch of them so um, she has one in her purse I carry this in my back my back left pocket because then in my back right pocket I have my wallet Here, put that down I have my wallet from head on tactical the only thing I own that's in multicam black with the cool velcro front panel where you can put whatever patch on um, you want on it so I have my wallet and then in my front right pocket, I normally have my phone, um, left wrist watch, right wrist, right wrist, right wrist, the memorial band, um, paracord bracelet, and a Montagnard bracelet. As it's like a second memorial band, Vietnam. Um, so I have those, and then that's it. In my pockets. Now, one of the cool things I have been, I've been carrying it. I was carrying it in my full-size pants like my BDU pants and I'm, I've been carrying it um, in my back pocket sometimes with my sometimes with my wallet and then sometimes with the tourniquet just depending on um, what I'm doing if I'm walking around I'll put it with the tourniquet but this is made by the guy over at Otter Paw Trading Company he did this modern rendition this modern take on the classic the quintessential um, M1910 um, Carlisle bandage uh, Carlisle bandage pouch that was used up until world up until Vietnam World War one interwar period World War two Korea and into Vietnam where it held that little tin that was the compression bandage um, that had a, the compression bandage and a packet of sulfa and so he took a modern take on it and just made these little pouches he was he selling them with the little survival kit. But personally, I just ordered the plane pouch because I wanted to use it as like a little first aid kit. So I have a 1110 uh, trauma bandage, like a, like the Carlisle bandage, the original, what they were supposed to be, you know, what the pouch was used for. And then I have um, behind that, because they're pretty flat, a um, focus uh, non-woven bandage, like a Z-fold bandage. So I just have those in there. So, you know, you've got tourniquet. And this and like I said I've it depends on what I'm doing if I'm sitting down a lot I might not have it in my pocket I might take it out and put it in my pocket when I get out of the car or I've been carrying it in my BDU cargo pockets when I go out and about so that's not necessarily every day but I've been incorporating that so there you go so yeah pretty basic simple kind of kind of the same stuff I had on that EDC video made I made a while ago um, not a lot has changed other than using um, a different tourniquet and potentially potentially getting a freaking um, holster for my HK. So there you go. Hope you guys just enjoyed a quick short video, a little informative, kind of showing you. I can carry all of this in my shorts and in my waistband um, without freaking, you know, having any of it really exposed. So, all right, you guys have a great day.